Welcome to Physics Caught on Camera. I am your physics lab teacher. We can learn more physics practicals virtually. Enjoy the day with physics. We are learning in our laboratory the physics practicals of CBS CNX class 9 to 12 and graduate and postgraduate syllabus. Practicals related to optics, thermodynamics, electromagnetism, relativity, acoustics, electronics, mechanics, instrumentation and electrical practicals. Broadly the functions of physics laboratory are determined according to the needs of the science industry. If the laboratory is for schools then the function is crystal clear. The laboratory is aimed at enabling students to learn physics theories in a more elaborative manner with the involvement of its application. The experiments carried out are mostly the ones in coherence with the curriculum. If the institute is for higher studies whether governmental or non-governmental, there the objective is to carry out researches and studies relevant to the contemporary industry of science. While carrying out the research, the researcher needs to apprehend to the commercial perspective of the study for making it viable. Today, we are learning about light reflection and refraction. So, in this chapter of class 10 standard CBSE, generally we are seeing light. We are seeing objects. How the object can be visible? A light ray, if it is incident on an object, from the object again the light ray will be reflected back. So this phenomena we can call it as reflection. Now between object as well as a person, there is a big glass door. Still we can able to see the object. So how it is possible? Light ray is incidenting, reflecting from air medium, again entering into the glass medium, glass medium to again air medium. So this phenomena we can call it as refraction. So we are studying about in details of light reflection and refraction. What makes things visible? During the day, the sunlight helps us to see objects. An object reflects light that falls on it. This reflected light, when received by our eyes, enables us to see things. We are able to see through a transparent medium as a light is transmitted through it. Now, the reflection of light. Reflection of light are two types. If the light ray incident on a smooth surface, what happens? Entire the light rays will be reflected back. Okay. If the light ray incident on the rough surface, in this case, what happened? The light ray will be reflected into n number of directions because due to the curve here, it may be reflected into n number of directions. Okay, so this kind of reflection we can call it as diffused reflection. Now, from where the light ray is incidenting, that ray we can call it as incident ray. So this point we can call it as incident point. Again, the right light ray is reflected from the incident point. This ray we can call it as reflector ray. Now take a normal at the point of incidence. Normal to incident ray, angle of incidence. Normal to reflected ray, angle of reflection. Okay. Now, the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Incident ray, reflected ray, normal, all are in the same plane. Incident angle is equal to reflected angle. So, these two are the laws of reflection. This laws of reflection are applicable to all types of reflecting surfaces, including spherical surface. Okay, Reflection by a plane mirror. In a plane mirror, what happened? How much distance an object is there, the same distance image also will be there. Object distance is equal to image distance. Object height is equal to image height. If you raise the right hand for the mirror left hand, so laterally inverted. Okay. Now, the image is virtual and erect image. Welcome to Physics Caught on Camera. I am your physics lab teacher. We can learn more physics practicals virtually. Enjoy the day with physics.
We are learning in our laboratory the physics practicals of CBS CNX class 9 to 12 and graduate and postgraduate syllabus. Practicals related to optics, thermodynamics, electromagnetism, relativity, acoustics, electronics, mechanics, instrumentation and electrical practicals. Broadly the functions of physics laboratory are determined according to the needs of the science industry. If the laboratory is for schools then the function is crystal clear. The laboratory is aimed at enabling students to learn physics theories in a more elaborative manner with the involvement of its application. The experiments carried out are mostly the ones in coherence with the curriculum. If the institute is for higher studies whether governmental or non-governmental, there the objective is to carry out researches and studies relevant to the contemporary industry of science. While carrying out the research, the researcher needs to apprehend to the commercial perspective of the study for making it viable.